Hey guys, today on Deepest Skin Cook, we are making this lemon velvet cake. And of course, we're gonna frost it with a lemon cream cheese frosting. So if you are a lemon lover, if you love velvet cakes and honey, this one is for you. And of course, it is so easy to make. Y'all ready? Let's go. Okay, we're gonna start with our dry ingredients. I'm gonna add my all-purpose flour to a large bowl, and I'm gonna use a little bit of cake flour. I like mixing those two together sometimes. It just works out real good. Okay, so we're gonna add those flours in a bowl. Then I have some baking soda, baking powder, and salt going in there. We're gonna give it a good old whisk to get everything all whisked in because, you know, a velvet cake, it has to have baking soda and buttermilk and vinegar you know what i'm saying okay that looks good go ahead and set that aside we're gonna move on to our wet ingredients okay into my large bowl i'm gonna add in some granulated sugar i'm gonna add in some vegetable oil to keep that cake all nice and moist and then we're gonna add in some butter flavor shortening you can use regular shortening if you want to but you guys know i love that butter flavor shortening it's just yeah it just does something go ahead and mix this all together until it is well combined just like that that looks perfect okay now we're gonna move on to our eggs. We're gonna crank that egg in there. I'm using two large room temperature eggs. We're gonna add them in there one at a time, being sure to mix it in between the eggs and scrape down the sides of your bowl. There's my second egg going in. Now sometimes I'll add in an extra egg yolk if I want my cake to be really, really yellow. But for this cake, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of yellow food coloring at the end, but if you wanna add in that extra egg yolk, you can. Okay, now I'm gonna add in some pure lemon extract. Go ahead and dump that right into your batter. And then I'm gonna add in some vanilla extract because a lemon velvet cake kinda has like a lemon vanilla taste to it. It's not all lemon, it's like a lemon vanilla. All right, there's my fresh lemon zest going in there. Okay, now we're just going to mix all of this up, get everything combined, and now we're going to mix our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. We're going to go a little bit at a time, and we're going to alternate it with my favorite ingredient in the whole wide world, and that is buttermilk, of course. Go ahead and throw that buttermilk in there, and you're going to alternate it again with the flour just until you have all of the ingredients mixed up, and your batter is nice and fluffy and whipped and looking kind of like this right here, okay? That looks good, just like that. Okay, when you get it like this, we're going to add in something else. We are going to add in a little bit of white distilled vinegar and some warm, actually some hot lemon water. I just got like some lemons and warm water, mix it up, add that vinegar to it because you gotta have vinegar for a velvet cake. You just gotta do it. And go ahead and just add that to your batter. Get your mixer and just mix it all up. And here's how the batter will look. It's kind of loose, right? It's kind of a very loose batter, but that's how it should look. And as you can see, it's very, very light. It's like a really light color. And I want it to be a little bit darker, so I'm gonna add in just a few drops of yellow food coloring just to give it a nice pale pastel yellow that I think is just so, so pretty. And don't forget, you can buy like natural food colors. If you don't wanna use artificial yellow, you can buy a natural kind. All right, go ahead and add these into your pan. I have greased and floured my pans. I'm gonna add them, add this batter into my pan, a nice even layer, okay? Give your pans a little shake to release all those air bubbles. That looks perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna do, we're gonna bake it 325 for about 25 to 30 minutes. I did about 28 minutes. I like to take my cakes out of the oven before they are done, just a little bit because it will result in the most fluffiest, moistest texture. So do not overbake this cake. Velvet cakes do not do well with overbaking. So check on it at the 25 minute mark, okay? And once it has cooled off in the pan a little bit, go ahead and remove it and place it on a cooling rack to cool off completely. Meanwhile, we are gonna make our lemon cheese, blah, 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 what? Our lemon cream cheese glaze, real quick, y'all, okay? Okay, there's my cream cheese butter I'm going into a bowl. I'm gonna mix this all up until it is creamy and stuff. And next, I'm going to add in some fresh lemon zest to get it all zesty and lemony and just make it sing. Mix it all in there. Next, we're gonna add in some vanilla, of course. You gotta add that. And some lemon extracts, of course. Gotta have that. And now we're just gonna mix it all up until it is creamy. And then we're gonna add in our powdered sugar. Dump that on in and mix it up. And then we are pretty much done with our lemon cream cheese frosting. It's very, very easy. If you don't wanna use this recipe, just use your favorite cream cheese frosting and, you know, add some lemon stuff in it. Good to go. Okay, I'm gonna pop this into the fridge just to kind of firm it up a little bit. I like it nice and firm a little so I'm gonna pop it in the fridge and now when it's time to go ahead and frost your cakes let it soften up a bit and then just get busy I don't know where my husband was normally he's a cake froster I don't know where he was at honey I need his help because y'all already know 
Okay, so I'm gonna frost my little cake here. I'm not using a crumb coat because I'm not a professional, okay? So here is my beautiful frosted lemon velvet cake. If you wanna add like some little lemon zest on to make it look all pretty, you can do that too. Sprinkle some on top, that look real pretty. But let's get to the good part. This is the only part I care about. You know what I'm saying? That lemon, fresh lemon velvet cake, y'all. It is so moist and tender. You have got to make this cake. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Later.